What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I wasn't cutting hair that much because you know, we got shut down again in the quarantine, this whole COVID thing, ding, 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 ding. I didn't really get to record. So now that we're back at the shop, I'm recording a lot more. Um, so I also got a new lens. I'm using it right now. Let me know. Like so clear. Woohoo. <laughs> this video, uh, this kid, he came in. He hasn't got cut in like a few months. I usually do a mohawk on him. He's got like a, a curly top mid fade and it came out very nice. I, I liked it a lot, he liked it a lot, so that's all that matters, right? Customers always right. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and yeah. What is good YouTube? I am back with another video. Uh, I know it's been too long and um, I'm sorry for the wait guys, so. But we back. And uh, let's get started. My client, he has a lot of hair. He hasn't got cut since the whole uh, quarantine, about like two months, maybe a month and a half. So what I'm doing, I'm just picking out the hair to make sure that um, I get an even cut. Because when you pick out the hair or you comb the hair, it um, makes everything easier, especially with the guard that you want to use to, you know, make it more smoother so it doesn't get caught on the hair. So I am using a one and a half guard here to take off the bulk on the side because I am gonna be eventually doing a fade. So I'm just doing this to take off the bulk so I can see what I am cutting. Um, you don't have to do this. I just do it because um, I wanna see every guideline that I am doing because it makes the haircut way more smoother and the transition looks so much better when you can see what you're actually cutting. So. Just make sure, I, I you don't have to use a one and a half. I do because you can clip or overcome it so much easier. You can use a two or three, whatever is best and comfortable for you guys. I, I suggest that. So to start off the ball line, I am gonna be using my babyest liners. Um, so I'm doing like a mid drop kind of ish fade. So I am gonna be taking off the hooks. Um, I suggest you guys use clippers that aren't that sharp to make your bald lines because you don't want to cut them or you don't want to, you know, irritate their skin. I'm using these ones. I have two of these. One are my hitters and ones are the ones I make just for my bald lines. So um, I suggest you don't make um, your bald lines with sharp clippers. And also uh, make sure that the, the lines or the guidelines, bald lines, whatever you want to do, your guidelines especially, make sure that they're straight, you guys. It makes it so much easier. So for the guy line, I'm gonna be using all the way open on my clipper with my magic clips, wall magic clips. I'm making the guy line about half an inch up to an inch. Um, it depends on how you guys wanna do it. I kinda wanna keep like a tight-ish blend. So I'm not making it too big because uh, I kinda want room to um, to make the fade. I wanna make it just kind of Kind of not really stretched that much but you'll see at the end of the video how I, how i did it uh so make sure that the guy line is straight there you go so this part is going to be a little bit trickier for the new barbers out there i am going to be closing my lever all the way close and i'm gonna be shaping up the hair i'm only doing this just to see just to clear up some space um so what you want to do is that you see the hair that is hanging over you just want to go straight up you don't want to do nothing else you don't want to just go straight up and shape the hair because um you don't want to dig in too much because you could patch somebody or you could just make their shape not very you know nice so i suggest you just you look at the head from a front angle and then you just go straight up from there just like straight up straight up that's all you gotta do. So on this part of the haircut right here, I'm gonna be taking out that open lever that we did with for the first guy line. So I am closing the lever all the way close and I'm basically f doing the flick out method. The flick out method is that you just use the corners 
and you just flick, flick, flick. Um, you don't want to make hard lines, especially in fades and tapers, because they are hard to take out. So I suggest that you do close halfway, then open. You want to play with your levers a lot because that helps it out so much more. You guys have your own technique of blending. I have mine. You guys have yours. So find your little niche and yeah, do that. So for this step, we have our number one guard on our magic clips. Uh, you want to make your guy line about half an inch. Uh, as soon as I get to the top of where I want my guy line to stop, I flick out because I don't want to make a hard line because it's going to be really hard to take out. So I am flicking out. And as you can see, it's not really like a hard line up there because I did a one and a half. You remember that, right? To take off the bulk on the side in the beginning of the cut. So now all I got to do from there is just blend up from that. So I'm just making my guy line right now. Make sure that it is straight, half an inch. You guys are ready. Now to take off that weight up top, I'm gonna be using my one and a half, um, the corners, just to, you know, take out that dark spot so it could be so much more smooth and the transition will be nice. So again, I am doing the flick out method. I'm flicking up into the hair because I don't wanna make a hard line and I also wanna keep the shape. So one and a half corner to take out the dark spots and we smooth, y'all. So for this part right here, I'm using my zero guard on my magic clips to take out that last dark spot. Um, as you can see, I had the lever all the way open and it kind of took it out. So I'm gonna be using halfway, then close. Um, I am using my corners a lot, but I do it all the time, especially in tapers and fades. Um, it is important to use corners. I know I say it a lot, you guys. It could be annoying for me saying it because you guys hear it all the time, but just think about it. When you use the corner of it, you have more control of the clipper inst instead of using the full blade. So you have more control of what you wanna cut by using the edges of the blade. So just keep that in mind, you guys, because it, it, this is, it comes in handy, especially when you're cutting hair. And it saves a lot of more time. Just watch, you guys will know, when, you got, when you've been cutting hair as long as I have, you, you start to figure out tricks to make it go faster and look nice at the same time. So I know you guys are thinking, why is his hair already lined up? So I thought I had my camera on on this part, but I didn't. So let me just backtrack and say that how to do the lineup. I'm sure most of you guys ref like know how to do a lineup. Um, so I don't really have to explain it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, I like starting from the middle and then working my way from the left to the right or right to the left. So that way it all can meet up in the middle and it'll just all come out straight. It started, instead of starting from one side, because one side could be higher than the other, and then it won't meet up in the middle, then you're gonna have to push somebody back. And that's something you don't wanna do. So I start from the middle, then make my way from side to side. So yeah, you guys. And I'm sorry if my, if my camera, or not my camera, blah, blah, blah. my mic sounds a little inconsistent. I just got a new mic and I'm trying to figure out how the settings and everything, how it works. So 
Bear with me, you guys. Thank you. So for the enhancements part, I know he doesn't need it. His hairline's already crispy, but I'm doing it anyways to give that little. So I am putting the enhancements the way I do line up my hair. I start from the middle and then work my way from left to right. Um, I don't know what the paint is called. I think something kiss. I'm not too sure. Um, so the technique, how I use my spray, I kind of pull it a little bit further back and I kind of just, you know, tap it. I don't want to, um, make it way way too dark um right here you guys would say oh it's a little too dark i mean yeah i mean but what's the point of using enhancements if it's not gonna be dark you feel me right so yeah just make sure that the, the enhancement is straight and there you go video is almost over i thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe i appreciate it a lot my instagram should be at the top left of the screen as you guys can see it so uh please please stay tuned for my next video it's coming in soon um let me know what you guys think about the cut in the comment section below i appreciate you guys a lot stay tuned arlen i'm out